for an exclusive Call 6 investigation. We have seen the numbers, and it is likely you know someone who has been raped. Now imagine the rapist confesses to the crime, but never has to spend a moment in jail. Tonight, our investigators are talking to rape victims who are working to make sure it never happens again. I spoke with three people who say they were raped and their attackers never paid for the crime. Tonight, they want you to hear their stories as they push for change, a change that could end up protecting someone you love. Three Hoosiers, different backgrounds, different stories. I was raped from the age of 13 to 15 by a national church leader. But they all share the same guilt, sadness, and shame over being sexually assaulted. So much so, they never reported it to police. I had so much self-blame. I didn't say anything for 16 years. I did not file a police report. I felt ashamed and I felt guilty for letting him into my apartment. These victims also share something else, an opinion that Indiana is failing rape victims. Indiana's way behind. Jenny Went was raped by her teaching assistant while attending IUPUI in 2005. She put it behind her until she got a phone call from an IUPUI detective in January letting her know her perpetrator confessed. He walked into a police station, said I raped somebody, and he walked out the front door. Case closed. That's because the statute of limitations on Class B felony rape is five years. Most other states have a longer limit or none at all. Indiana has a severe problem. There should be no time limit on the prosecution. The Call 6 investigators uncovered another way Indiana lags behind other states. According to numbers obtained from the Centers for Disease Control, Indiana ranks second worst in the country in 2009 and 2011 when it comes to high school girls being forced to have sex. That's a problem. That's an epidemic. Anita Carpenter is CEO of the Indiana Coalition Against Sexual Assault. We have 43 counties in Indiana with little to no services at all for victims of sex crimes. We have no state funding in Indiana to support sex crime victim services. What letter grade would you give us? Oh, a letter grade, I'm going to say a C minus, maybe a D plus. Michael Medler of the Indianapolis Marion County Forensic Services Agency disagrees. Do you think that Indiana is failing? I don't think so at all. Numbers show the lab received more than 2,000 rape kits since 2010. Their current backlog, 32. We're meeting court dates, um, and if there's a problem with having a case rushed, we can do those kind of things. Medler says the lab keeps rape kits even when the victim does not want to report the crime. How long can you keep a rape kit? We can keep it pretty much indefinitely from the standpoint of the way that we can freeze things and so forth nowadays. Key because an estimated 75% of rape victims never report what happened. And for the 25% that do, it can take decades for them to come forward. Medler says the evidence and the framework is in place at the lab should the state extend the statute of limitations. As for the 39-year-old man who confessed to raping Jenny, we tried to track him down at his Carmel apartment and left a business card, but we have yet to hear back. We are not showing his face because he hasn't been charged. He's not paying for his crime. These survivors say Indiana can do its part by eliminating the statute of limitations. Well, I've been pushing for this for many years. I just been falling on deaf ears. With Jenny Wentz's story of a confessed rapist getting away, these survivors say they have new hope to change the law. They're working with Senator Mike Kreider on a bill for next session. I'm bound and determined and on a mission to make Indiana change. Indiana is one of only a handful of states that has a statute of limitations of five years or less on Class B felony rape. In Michigan, it's 10 years, and in Kentucky, they're one of about 20 states that has no statute of limitations whatsoever. If you'd like to see a state-by-state -state breakdown, head to our website, theindychannel.com. Kara Kenny, RTV6.